All right, everyone. So what we're going to do today in terms of putting our class online is I'm going to show two techniques. One is a very low level, very simple uh, method using PowerPoint where you simply screen capture everything you're doing on your computer. PowerPoint has a facility to do that and it's PowerPoint. So you can just run through your PowerPoint presentation while recording it. And then we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to put that on YouTube. Now, the other way is for people who maybe do not lecture with PowerPoint, including myself, or even if you do, if you still want to provide that in-class experience, what we do is we use the camera, and, um, and then I'll show you how to do some more processing and also put that up onto YouTube. So we're also going to be learning some extra advanced video editing techniques to make that presentation as good as possible for our students while this crisis is occurring. All right, everyone, so what I'm going to do now is show the lowest level of, um, of what we can do to do online learning, and that is lecture by a PowerPoint where we're going to just capture everything that is on your computer screen, uh, save that to an a, uh, AVI file, I believe, and we're going to upload that to YouTube. All right, so um, I'm going to show you what my computer generates, but I have to show you how I initiate that process. So that's why I have a camera now. I'm going to show you how I start the uh, recording process and then I'm going to show you what I record. All right, so now you, you've got the camera um, here close to the screen. All right, now all I'm doing is I'm just going to open up a um, some PowerPoint I did at a conference a while ago. It's actually a pretty old conference, um, but it's, it's as good a, a good a starting point as any. All right. Now, to record uh, a presentation at the lowest level possible, what you do is go to Insert and Screen Recording. It's unbelievably easy. Okay, click on that, and then you want to hit Select Area. I'm going to go ahead and select the entire screen. And I do that this way. Again, very simple. You can see, see that, all right? Select the entire thing. All right, now when I hit record, it's going to record everything that happens, and I have a microphone, so it's going to record my voice, too. Um, all right, now, one thing that is difficult about this is it's going to capture everything, including the mouse and my voice. What you have to be careful about, though, is how to stop it. To stop it, it's Windows key, Shift, Q. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start. So, um, right, there we go. It gives you a, a moment to get together what you, what you want to present. And I can use the computer like normal at this point. And, and it is recording my voice. I'll hold the uh, microphone a little closer to me. And now I can say, hello class. Today we're going to talk about transient x-ray absorption. Uh, here are quantum dots. And here we see size-dependent properties. And here are products made from quantum dots. And this is a drawing I made. Oh, don't use my finger, use the mouse. Here is how we make the quantum dots, and on and on and on. And we can just talk, talk, talk. Now, of course, this is for people who have PowerPoints already available, um, so that works just fine. All right, now, as I mentioned, that if you forget this, this is actually a real pain. You have to know how to stop it. Windows Shift Q. There we go. All right, now. What is this? This that's appeared. This is the video. So you're going to want to hit um, uh, right click, save media as, and um, we've got a directory um, already set up. And I'm going to save it as an MP4 file. There you go. All right, everyone. So now. We are going to uh, upload a video to YouTube. So we've uh, saved our video from the PowerPoint. So now what? Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to YouTube. And um, now you may be thinking, like, well, I don't have an account with them. I don't know what to do. Um, guess what? You actually do have an account with them. Everyone has an account with YouTube um, because. Uh, you have it by virtue of being a UIC employee. So notice I am typing in my uh, email address and watch this. Right. So you can tell it's legit. I have to think about, hope you can't see my password. Uh, anyway, 
All right, <clears throat> there I am. I'm now in YouTube. So now I click on the icon to the upper right, and I go to my channel. <clears throat> now, there's nothing there. I've never used this account. Notice that there is a camera with a plus. Click on that. Upload video. Um, this part, this part is incredibly simple. Select a file. I've got, <laughs> I've got this already going to my. Uh, Corona directory. Here's an example, an MP4 file. That is what the um, PowerPoint saved. Um, there we go. Um, so let's give it a title. Let's call it class number 30 cat dynamics. Um, this is our 30th class on quantum kitties. Okay, a little description. Next. Uh, I generally just say it's not made for kids because I don't know why I wouldn't. Um, the video elements, this is for a thumbnail. I, you don't need to worry about it. It'll make one for you. The last thing you do is click public and publish and that is it. Now typically you may have about a 5 gig movie file for an hour class that's going to take about an hour for it to well, about a half an hour to upload and half an hour to process this is already done all right that's insanely fast so let's go back to the icon hit my channel this is what people would see um, go away um, this is what people would see uh, on YouTube just click on the video and we are now watching the video I'll turn down the sound but Here's the video. Here's the video that we were looking at earlier. Now, to send it to your class, again, lowest level possible, copy the uh, internet address and paste it into an email to all your students. You know what? You could just do that every day. Every day for the next month that we have to live with this way. And it's not that bad. All right, but what I'm going to go over next is a little bit more advanced techniques for those of you who want to continue lecturing, and I'll show you how I do that with a video camera. All right, so we're going to walk into the classroom. I have my camera. I'm going to set up the camera. I'm aiming for the All right, next thing is we have the camera, and all I have to do is set it up um, somewhere where I can capture as wide, wild, uh, wide a field of view as humanly possible, and you have to know your camera. Well, okay, so now that we filmed the video, uh, I just have to get that information off, and I'm sure there's all kinds of fancy ways to connect the camera to the computer, but whatever. I, I just take it out, and especially some of you might be wanting to use this camera. So I take out the, uh, the, the card, and I have an adapter. A lot of computers, you can just put the card into the computer, um, not the one I have. So I have an adapter, you know, USB connection. There you go. So I just plug that into the computer. And like any USB external, the computer recognizes it. And um, it's a lot of yeah. The computer recognizes it, and then I simply copy, copy and paste, um, copy and paste the data to another to my uh, current hard drive, uh, because otherwise it's a little onerous. Um, you don't want to be processing a video uh, on an external drive because that that is extraordinarily slow. And uh, let's see here. So there we go. There's the external. and private, you, you have to dig around a little bit for it, it's kind of strange. Um, and anyway, so private, uh, A, B, C, H, D, B, D, V, M, I have no idea what those mean, stream. And here are the raw files for the videos, uh, which now I'm gonna copy to another drive, and now I'm gonna show how to, um, how to work with Adobe Premiere to process that video for YouTube and spiff it up a bit as well if one is so inclined. Alrighty, so I am assuming that now you've got the files from your recording device saved on your hard drive. And to do the best job possible, what I'm going to show you how to do is process, process those uh, files through Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere is a free software to faculty. Uh, it is a little difficult to download if you've not uh, downloaded anything from Adobe before. Our deal with Adobe unfortunately makes the downloading and installation process a little complex. I can help people with that, but it is free. You should be able to get this. 
it looks scary how you're seeing it right now um, it is actually just shockingly simple once you know exactly what to do that's true of everything and I'm gonna show you that right now okay first thing is we're going to import some uh, of the image files from the camera uh, now I happen to have a portable hard drive for, uh, that I use for that purpose <clears throat> and I'm gonna pick uh, <laughs> this is my entire class I record every class I'm gonna pick uh, two uh, I'm gonna pick just one class and an hour class on my video camera it has to be broken down to two files each about two gigs um, computer uh, files should never be more than two gigs because that causes weird problems okay now I, I like this example because already we're running into a bit of a problem right okay so I'm importing the uh, the two images and notice that they now appear to the lower left okay real simple I'm gonna highlight one of them and click and drag it into this which is the uh, time um, um, the timer basically I don't really know what else to call it um, all right the computer you see on the right hand is taking some time processing it um, sometimes it's best to wait a little bit um, and all right so now it's done processing you see audio information and here you can see of course the video and now you can hit go and it's a little noisy and silly and messed up because it's raw video it starts from when I hit go on record you can hear all the students talking it's cacophony it's a bloody mess but whatever all right all right I'm stopping it right now uh, what I'm gonna do is put in the next um, the next one because it's not a full hour otherwise I see how that works it's pretty easy slide it right in and there we go that's the whole video look at that look at that see we're done we're done it's ready to be saved alright now how do I do that what I do is I go under file export media and what I do is I like to um, I, I, this format is whatever you gave it so you're done the preset is how you'll save it and guess what there is a YouTube option I use YouTube 1080 I find this to make a um, fairly large video file um, but when I upload that to YouTube it derezzes it but it derezzes it to the point where I can still read my own handwriting so um, so this is a trade-off between size and the fact that YouTube's video will still look pretty good and I've already shown you how to upload to YouTube so I'm assuming you know how to do that so I click on that um, now the next thing you need to be careful with is output name this thing has a weird way of putting files in places you don't actually know where they're at it's very very weird click on output name and okay it happened to pop up to my corona directory which seems like a good place and let's call that class uh, class 30 save it doesn't actually save anything and now I hit export okay once you export it you're gonna have after about an hour you're gonna have a file called class 30 mp4 and you can just upload that to YouTube you're set it's that easy it does a really good job balancing size and quality um, and, and again I, the only thing I think you may have a little bit of difficulty with is downloading the software alright step two um, now what I want to do is show more advanced video editing techniques right because you can do a lot more than what I just did now again for the here and now for you people who are novices to this I just showed you everything you need but as you um, develop a little bit more sophistication and comfort with this software you might want to just try to do a couple of extra things I'm going to show you how to do all the extra bits that I know how it really adds a lot of value it's worth doing and it's really easy and I'm going to show you how easy it is right now okay first thing all right now <laughs> there happen to be students in this video I guess that's not a problem anymore uh, regardless I think you get the point that uh, you're going to be standing up and maybe you have some TAs and you're not really ready to begin when you hit go on the video I mean you see that happening right now I'm talking about homeworks and whatnot uh, so I'm gonna forward this to 
whenever it looks like I began lecturing and that looks like right about I don't know I actually have to watch the video um, okay so I can watch the video a little bit and um, try to figure it out okay I know it's a little silly but it can take a while okay okay right here okay I think I want to start the video right here now I can zoom in a little bit using these little sliders you see how that works that's actually quite useful and what I'm looking is is for a little bit of a lull in the sound that's the audio right there so I see a little bit of a lull in the sound and what I'm gonna do is one of the first things you want to know how to do is cut there's a razor blade cut now I click on the uh, uh, cursor highlight the junk at the beginning delete and I'm done now I'm gonna click on this and slide it all the way to the left now I need to uh, get uh, my um, my timer uh, adjust a little bit move the second part of the file to touch the first part it is seamless by the way see that it's seamless there's a little bit of an audio glitch I, I'm not a big deal um, you may have noticed that but there you go all right so we have gotten our first let oh, oh and of course guess what there's a little fat at the end let's trim that off there we go all right that looks like me waving goodbye or something so we don't need that not that there's anyone to wave goodbye to there we go looks like I'm ending right there so there we go and now um, I just you know trimmed off a little bit <clears throat> all right next thing what else can we do how about we add a title why not it only takes a second file new legacy title look at that we got ourselves a title uh, name I'll call it I don't know title okay now I get the second screen what this is gonna do is show me what the title is gonna look like now what I do is I go to the type tool and I'm gonna go at the top and I'm gonna say class 30 um, quantum okay you may notice that something is quite wrong is because the default font is something ridiculous I'm gonna adjust the font here by going to let's say Arial there we go I like that I'm gonna adjust the color to how about a light blue light blue why not there we go I'll make it a little bit bigger by um, <coughs> excuse me so a little bit of a cold um, let's see where is that where is the font size font size right there okay a lot of uh, Premiere works this way I'm gonna put my cursor over the font size I click and I just shake the mouse left and right and there we go so as I shake to the right it scales it up I go back and I center it maybe I should center it there you know what you know what I'm gonna do something a little different here I'm gonna click there hit space and I'm gonna move it right here there we go okay now this is a little funky I'm gonna close it it's saved all my work is saved problem um, it doesn't presume where you put the title all right it just has a title effect and that's here on the left I'm where my mouse is I'm gonna click on title and drag it into the storyboard here into this extra uh, little video like slot all right now I need to have an idea what's going on so I have to expand out the time horizon there and there we go there's the title I may want it to last for about say 20 seconds uh, I can tell from the timer up here all right let's let's start the video from the beginning Look at that class 30 quantum quantum something all right be careful of uh, <laughs> what just happened there oh you know what I can do I can double click on title title effect and you know what it looks like I just need to move it there right go back start at the beginning way better way better alright why not right did it take that long and I think it, uh, our, uh, everything looks a little bit better with the title I think the students will appreciate being able to keep track of what's what 
All right, how about some more effects? Let's do, uh, let's go to effects. Let's do some other things that'll make this look a little nice, like a video transition. Let's do a dissolve. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll explain the dissolve by showing you a dissolve. Dissolves make these things look way more professional. I'm gonna do a cross dissolve. All right, what I'm gonna do is click on cross dissolve and I'm going to drag this to the timeline. Okay, it did something a little weird there. Uh, drag this to the timeline and I'm gonna add that to the title. Notice I had to drag it to the front, it's highlighted, and I just um, let go of my left click, and now the cross dissolve is present. Now watch what happens when I play the video. Nice, right? Hey, let's do it to the video itself. You don't do this to the audio. The audio track is here, you do it to the video because it's a video effect. All right, now let's go to the beginning, All right? A fade in. Trust me, it really looks better when you do these little dissolves. It looks way more professional. And again, we're just trying to add value for the students. Look at that. Nice and fancy. Guess what? We can also dissolve out. Now, actually, the title is a little bit too long, so let's shorten it a bit there. You saw how I did that. Let's dissolve it out. So I'm um, blah, 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 and fades out. Not bad, huh? Next effect. You know what? There is no way to place the camera such that you don't have a keystone problem. Uh, a keystone is, you see how the, the board is um, the, the, um, not, you know, the perspective. The perspective is bad. All right, let's fix the, let's fix the perspective. All right, we're going to go under video effects and adjust and corner, uh, ooh, not the wrong, where is it? No, oh, distort. All right, again, video effects distort corner pin. Now I think you have an idea for how effects work. Click on it, left click, drag it into the video. There we go. Okay, now the effects are now appearing and I can see corner pin right here. Now I've shown you how the slider works. So what I do is I put the mouse over upper left, left click, and I just shake the mouse left and right. Ah, you see that? You see, look at the video in the middle. See how that works? Yeah, you see, I can affect, I can remove the effect of perspective. That's left, and I'll do right. And there we go. All right. It's like the camera is like more pointed at the center, and the 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 board is going to be easier to see. It it fixed the perspective problem, and it's been applied to the entire video. Uh oh, I got a slight problem. This video is composed of two files. Watch what happens. All right, let's zoom in. Watch the video. It's fine. It, it's fine, and then it's not. Okay, you just have to do it twice. There we go. Now I'm going to go back here, and then I'm going to look at my settings. Uh, upper left, minus 42. Upper right, 1501. Okay, I go back here, uh, minus 42, 1501. Right. I set the upper left to minus 42, and the right to 1501. There we go. Hit go. It sticks. Okay. Before and after. There. Perfect. Okay. You know, that's really just about all that I really wanted to show you. Um, now, actually, let me let me just do one last thing. If you are going to use my camera, which everyone's glad, you know, you know totally fine by me. My camera has a little bit of a glitch. You can see it right here. For some reason, there is a um, problem with the audio going from file one to file two. All right, to fix that, I highlight the first uh, segment and I unlink the video and audio. I'm now going to use the cutting tool and I'm going to cut away that dead space in the audio on the first part and delete it. Now I go to the second segment, highlight, unlink, Again, this is child's play, and then I slide the audio over, there we go. I don't know why this glitch occurs, I'm sure if I googled it enough I could fix it, I'm sure it's a camera setting, but regardless, audio problem is solved. The last bit of warning is if you are doing this with, if you are using a PC, Adobe Premiere, with an iPhone video file, the audio and video don't track. I mean, Adobe claims that there's no problem using Microsoft software on Adobe files. It's not true. 
you're going to have a slight disconnect between the video and the audio not tracking each other. It is really distracting. I know how to fix that. It takes quite a bit more effort, um, but if you're caught in that trap, let me know, and I will work with you to fix those little effects. In the meantime, at, you know, and I'll see, it's really not that big a deal. All right, so with that, I've already shown you how to upload to YouTube, and I hope that we're all going to just weather through this next month, and everything will be back to normal because we can trust our government.